I think there are themes in all my books that wor worryingly keep popping up. I seem to love writing about embarrassment, mainly because I'm so easily embarrassed. So I love putting my characters through excruciating situations. I like writing about people, I think, trying to escape their families, really, where the sort of weight of family expectation makes people think they have to behave in a certain way, but that's not what they want. Um, and in Almost English, the protagonist, because she's 17 and she lives with some elderly Hungarians and her mother, everyone thinks they know her business and they're waiting for her to behave as they think she should. Um, and I always, I like writing funny things, mainly because it makes me laugh, which I realise isn't cool at all. Um, but the thing that's different about Almost English is there are two really personal things in it. There's Hungarian oldsters, um, and my grandparents were Hungarian. So f for me, it's a bit of a love letter to my Hungarian grandparents. Um, and I wanted, when I was writing it, to convey what it's like growing up with old people with funny accents um, and bizarre food in the fridge. And to hear their accent on certain words, which I do all the time. So that's one of the reasons I wrote it. But also, I too, amazingly, went to boarding school when I was an unbelievably square and hopeless adolescent and suddenly was surrounded by blonde stockbrokers' children and had not a clue. And so obviously I needed to exercise that. So I suppose in some ways it's more personal than my other books, um, but it's still, I think it's probably recognisably by me. I think in some senses, Almost English is a novel about escape. There are two people trying to escape. There's Marina, who's 17, who is so frustrated and bored and desperate at home, but hopeful about what the wider world has for her, that she convinces herself that a posh English traditional boarding school will sort her life out. But there's also Laura, her mother, who is living with three elderly Hungarian in-laws in a basement flat and is similarly desperate to escape, but has no idea how to do it. She has no money. She has nothing that exists outside that flat. And so while Marina at boarding school is getting into more and more and more difficulty, Laura is caught up in her own, frankly, misery and wondering how things will change. And she doesn't realise how badly wrong things are starting to go for Marina. So simultaneously, there are two possibly perfect storms developing and you know something is going to go terribly wrong. Ha ha.